Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions Lesson Number 8, Introduction to Logs Homework Review. Hope this is going to be uh, this is, hope this is going to be helpful to you guys. This is a new topic for some of you, and it kind of builds on top of our topic of exponential functions. So, uh, let's look at the first question. Which of the following is equivalent to y equals log base seven of x? Now. This idea of a log function, it kind of starts from idea really from a situation with exponential function. You see, we begin with the thought process that there's an exponential function that we have where the variable is going to be the exponent. And it's kind of hard to be able to figure out what the answers can be unless we can guess and check. So in that situation, well, we'll take a look here. An exponential function looks like this. y equals a times b to the x, where in this situation, we're gonna assume that the, the a value equals one. So we're gonna get y equals b to the x power. So let's switch x and y like we normally do to find the inverse, because in this case, you know, we're, uh, we're trying to, again, if we know what the y value is, trying to find the x, a way to solve for this is to change things around. And so, you know, the, the output would be the, the exponent we're looking for. I say, what do you mean? <clears throat> so, for example, if I knew that 10 to the x was equal to 5, what I want to do is possibly make the, make in, make the situation where the thing I'm looking for is my output. And so we would take the inverse... And now if we take the inverse of things, the idea, well, well actually instead of, instead of five, maybe it's y. <laughs> so we would have in this case, x equals 10 to the y. Now you're saying, well, again, in what situation could we, could we try, to, try to solve for this and all? We would have the situation when we are, our variable is going to be the x one. Okay. Well, we come over the function, and this new function, this x equals b of the y, now becomes log, y equals log base b of the x. And so we take a look at the original way it's written, x equals b of the y, b is the base. Okay, so this b here and this b here is the base. This y here is the exponent of original problem, now becomes the output we're trying to solve for. And the x answer from the original problem, it comes the input of our log function. So these same elements are the same for the new function for y equals log base b of the x. We call this function a log in the function or log function for short. Okay. And so what happens is we're trying to convert any expression that looks like this into this just so we can get y as an output by itself instead of being an exponent here. So, okay. Again, I want to st stress that the b, the base here, is the same as this base here. The exponent y is the same as the exponent y value here. And this answer in the original problem becomes the input. So the output of the original problem becomes the input of our log. So an example we would have in this case I use is going to be 10 squared is equal to 100. That's again something we know. And so to write this in log form, the base becomes 10. It's not 10 to the power of, it's base 10. The answer, the 100 becomes the input of our log function. <clears throat> and our exponent now becomes the answer for log. And so we use this whole, this whole idea of just rearranging these numbers in a way so that we have a log function. And now why are we using the numbers? Well, we use numbers to get the right form and then later on, we'll use them to help us find the, the values, okay? 
Well, let's take a look at number one. Well, y equals log base 7 of x, okay? Well, we talked about the idea that y equals log base b the x is the same as b to the y, b raised to the y power equals x. So our base is going to be 7. So b equals 7. And so we have here <clears throat> 7 raised to the y equals x. The same x and y in the log function are the same x and y in the exponential. And the correct answer in this one's going to be x equals 7 to the y is choice 3. If the graph of y equals 60x is reflected along across the line y equals x, then the resulting curve has the equation of. Now, this idea of reflecting across the line y equals x, that's the same thing as taking the inverse. So we're taking the inverse of y equals 60x. And we know to take the inverse, we're going to switch x and y. So this becomes x equals 6 to the y. And we just talked about the idea that, again, I'll write out this form, that if x equals b to the y, y equals log base b to the x. <clears throat> and the x and the y are the same thing. The only thing difference now is that the base here is 6, or 6 here. So we will have, if x equals 6 to the y, y equals log base 6 of x. So again, we're just just kind of rewrite, rewriting x as a function into log form. And that would be choice two. The value of log base 5 of 167 is closest to which of the following? Hints, guess, and check your answers. Okay, so... Let's set this log base 5 of 167 is equal to, let's call it n. And we know, we saw before, that if y equals log base b of x, b to the y is equal to x. This is basically the same thing. And so our base for the log function is 5, so our base for our exponential function is 5. Our value here of n matches up with y, so we are going to match up the, the exponent of n to for 5, for the base. And the 167 matches up with the x value here, so we'll set that equal to 167. And so this is the converted equation we're going to use to be able to solve. And so and so we'll now kind of plug into our to our numbers we have here, okay? All right, so the first number is 2.67 and see what if we take 5 to 2.67, whether or not <clears throat> whether or not we're going to get uh, 167. Okay, let's see. Grab, grab a calculator. Oops. It's sent to my calculator. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. And clear all this stuff here. 5 raised to the 2.67. 73.49. Not, not, not high enough. So, okay. Let's take a look again. Well, if this was not if this was not high enough, this one will not work out either. Let's try it to five to the four point five nine. So we'll take five raised to the four point five nine. Oh, 
Oh, that's really big. That's really big. Nope, that's not working out. Way overshot that. So, nope, not this one. Let's try 5 to the 3.18. Base of 3.18. Hey, that's pretty darn close. I think that's a winner. And so when we have these available to us, it makes it a ton easier to just to uh, to be able to plug it in check them. Okay. But yes, we will change or convert our log uh, question into exponential question, of which we are able to figure out. Which of the following represents the y-intercept of the function y equals log of x plus 100 minus 8? Well, the y-intercept is going to be the value of, of y when x equals 0. So, we will now plug in 0 for x. So, we have y equals log of 0 plus 1,000 minus 8. Well, we have y equals log of 1,000. Now, we do not see the base for a log. It is going to be the common log. So y is equal to log base 10 of x is known as the common log. And we also write as just y equals log of x. So when you do not, see, do not see a base, we assume the base to be 10. So we want to figure out what this value is. Okay, well, so we have log base 10 of 1,000 equals n. That means 10 to the n is equal to 1,000. Uh, yes, you will learn in time how to be able to convert these very quickly. And we know 1,000 is 10 to the third power. So this here is equal to 3. So now we have here y is equal to 3 minus 8, and we have the value of negative 5. That's our y-intercept in this case. So we evaluate the log and be able to convert to a number we can use normally, and then use it in our problem. So our y-intercept will be negative 5. When x equals 0, y equals negative 5 for this function. So, and this will be the end of our homework review for the Algebra 2 lesson number 8, Introduction to log, Logs. And I hope this is helpful. Again, take a look at it again if you need to look it over. I hope that we, and see whether or not, um, you know, if, if it just being able to convert back and forth, that's really the big gist of this whole thing, whole thing and also. And, uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this video, help, video helpful, please give it a like. And look out for our part two for our, our introduction to logs homework review. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and be safe.